Joy, 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 everyone. This is Swami, the Orange Cowboy. Welcome to another episode of Angel Feathers. Today, I'm so, so pleased to introduce you, and maybe you already know her because she's, she's out there and people know her, Patty Sadler. She's an international speaker, publisher, and a master at helping people make transitions in their life and career. Patty, thanks so much for being here. Well, thank you for having me. It's my pleasure. Well, let's get right to it. We're here to talk about a time you've talked with your angels or God or intuition and miracles happen. So please share your story. Okay. So several years ago, I was in a darker place and, and I've talked about this a little bit, but we'll skip that right now. Um, I was in a darker place and I was um, at the end of my rope, literally. And I, I went into the mountains and I, I prayed and I, I received a very clear and very strong answer. Um, I'm adopted and um, so there were always empty feelings of depression inside of me because I just felt misplaced. Mm. Um, I had also um, lost my children with some of the situations that I'd been in. However, when, um, when I went in, into prayer, and I, I asked for guidance, I received a very clear answer. And that answer was to be a surrogate, to be a mother to other young women that were in my same circumstances around me. And that when I, if I would do that, that I would be blessed beyond measure. And, um, and I'll tell you, it, it took several years, but I, I took that on very wholeheartedly. And women around me, I, I always reminded them who they were, that they were divinely created. and that they had a special purpose and they, they needed to choose to do better for themselves. Um, and as I did that, I felt warmer and kinder and a, a lot more, um, a different kind of energy came towards me. But anyway, the result was many miracles. One of the miracles was that I was reunited when I was 41 years old with my biological mother. Wow. And that did a lot of healing. And um, I did get my children back and that was a result of the, of, you know, the same thing. Um, I'll tell you what, the Lord is the best paymaster ever. And if we, we listen, our blessings are tenfold. It's, it's amazing. I, I love that story, Patty. And one of the things I want to highlight, because it, you, in, in, in a story of miracles, it's important. Patty asked for help. And the answer was, well, you think you have nothing, but you can help. And that you helping is the way how you'll get your help in many yep. ways. So when sure. we think we have nothing to give, turns out we do have something to give. Each That's of us good. different. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful, Patty. Thank you. And uh, anything else you want to share about your connection with God or the angels or? Well, Yes. Um, what I want to say is that we all need to remember that we're all divinely created. That means we all have a royal heritage. That means we all matter and we all have a special purpose and we also have special talents and we shouldn't squander them. We should use those talents, be kind to each other, love each other, serve one another, and we'll find our purpose in life. I love that because we're not happy unless we're using our gifts. I That's mean, right. we're happy to some extent, but when we, do what we were born to do it's like an aha moment it's like a wow and then and the other thing is people say i don't know my purpose and they don't do anything but if you just sort of feel your way through something and of course there are people like you and i who help people find their life purpose so that you can take that kind of an action even if you just start trying something try to help i remember when I, after i lost my parents the first Christmas seasonal holiday, I was kind of down. And I had heard if you go help people, you feel better. Strangely, though, when I call, I called a nursing home or something and offered to go in and help. I must have sounded very depressed because they said, we don't need you. <laughs> <laughs> so I tried to help. That wasn't the right path for me. But eventually, I found the things that I'm into now. So we don't give up when we're searching for our life path. That's right. We always lend a hand. And when, whenever we're in the service of others, we are in the service of our God. Mm -hmm. It's true. That's true. true. 
and something that's going on now for you, any kind of, so you, you've, all this miracles transition you to where you are today. So let's, yeah. why don't you share something going forward? What miracle? So um, I, I am a publisher. I actually, I'm an international speaker and I, I work with some others and we put on a retreat every year in June in Ireland that we do. And oh. um, so I, I do retreats. I, I run around and talk to people. I do a lot of networking, but my best gift right now is, is helping people to figure out what they what they want to do when they grow up. So if they have, um, if somebody has an idea and they, they are coming from their heart, and they want to find a way to turn that into a business, mm. I'm able to help them to do that and strategize that out. So that's kind of one of my gifts right now. Beautiful. Beautiful. Well, Patty, I wish you continued success. I wouldn't have to say more success, but more, even more success. Oh, I appreciate that. And folks, thank you for tuning in to this episode. It's a wonderful, heartfelt, and inspiring episode with Ms. Patty Sadler. Until the next time on Angel Feathers, I wish you all joy, joy, joy. Joy, joy, joy.